it was just pure carnage actually. Uh, the weather conditions were brutal. Yeah, it was, it was a pretty long stage also, it was 205 kilometers and the first hour was incredibly fast, uh, it was incredibly fast racing. It took the break almost uh, 50k to uh, to go, so that made it even even more difficult. And then um, as soon as we hit the local laps, yeah, it was just pure carnage actually. Uh, the weather conditions were brutal. Um, in the end, it was it kind of felt like uh, like we did the classic. In the meeting, there was said that there was a chance of a shower in the in the in the final of the race, so we were prepared for a little bit of rain, but we weren't prepared for this. I mean. Um, all the guys in the bunch they when i when i looked at them when i looked around there were everybody was everybody was suffering i was i was not alone um so that made it a little bit easier on on me and uh we we, we had a clear goal uh for this stage um trying to keep out uh near the front as, as good as possible um and but when the when when the rain started and it really started to get hectic, we was just every every man for himself basically. And uh, I remember seeing uh, Sergio Aguita um, just getting dressed by the mechanics and the and and, and the, the the DS. Um, also Pelo Bilbao, they were just standing on the side of the road getting dressed. They were completely frozen. Uh, these these climbers there they they have uh, almost no body fat. So I, me and me as a classic rider, I can still handle it quite well. But uh, these guys, they were they were just uh, yeah, and they were completely empty. Everything starts with being in the being in the right position because riders get tend to get a little more scared when it's uh, when the roads are wet, um, and it opens up gaps uh, way more. So um, if you stay in front, you always already have a big advantage on the on the guys that are a little bit, a little bit further back, um, and then you just need to try and stay warm, eat as much as you can um try to fuel keep fueling your body the right way and um i think if you do this then and you have good legs then uh you're you're, you're close to getting a good result oh actually the first thing was like okay now the race is going to get really difficult and uh we, we we need to be more in control and we need to stay near the front even more but then um as, as soon as the rate the race really exploded you were like yeah, i just need to try and stay try and stay warm because Okay, uh, the race the race was uh, far in front of me at one point, so there was no real point in, in keep on riding uh, all out. Just need to make it to the finish line, but then you need a good a good rain jacket, um, and you need to you need to yeah keep fueling your body because it, it's it, these are demanding conditions. So uh, and also with the, the days after coming up, um, we needed to stay to stay healthy that's uh if you stay warm you stay healthy that's uh that's what that's what i was thinking